Well, before this, uh, before we started recording, Max, we were talking a little bit about the concept of jersey numbering and how cool that is versus, you know, other cards and whatever. But I bought a card this week, which is a 2021 Optic Contenders insert. And I don't, I haven't really been buying much 2021 product in general, just because I kind of just think it's been a little overhyped and I think print runs are a little higher and I'm just kind of being cautious as a collector. But this card came up, it's serial numbered. It's numbered 11 out of 75, and it is a Clay Thompson, Steph Curry team tandems insert from Contenders Optic, and it's numbered 11 out of 75. So obviously, Clay num- Clay Thompson's jersey number. I I saw that, and I paid 1.5 the previous out of 75 comp. Um, I just was like, I'm gonna win this card. I love Steph Clay cards. It's jersey numbered out of Clay, and I was like, whatever. I'm gonna. I won my fantasy league in football, so I was like, I'm feeling myself. I'm gonna buy this card. But that was my one kind of fun buy of the week, Max. I know you bought also have a recent acquisition. That's a jersey number. Do you want? To I have. Them? I have two. I and I guess we'll discuss both of them. I bought a one of them that I'm really happy with is a. I Tommy. Okay, good. We are connection strong. I was worried there for a second, but I bought a 2021 tops hair. It was either 2021 or 2022. I forget the year. Tops Heritage Red Ink autograph of Juan Soto, third or fourth year? Third year, I think it was 2021. So third year, real one Red Ink auto of Juan Soto, uh, jersey numbered 22 out of 70 or 71 that year. And I want to say the last two sales for the Red Ink auto was like $180 and like 220 And I saw this on eBay it had like a $230 starting bid and a $299 buy it now. And I progressively started seeing the watchers of the listing grow from like eight to like 18. And I really did not want to be kicking myself for missing out on this just to maybe snipe it and then buy it for like $280 instead of just buying it at full at 300 and then maybe missing out entirely. So I got the balls and I pressed buy it. Now, hard to go wrong with Heritage Real One autographs, even if it's not a rookie card. There's only one jersey number. And I like the reputation of that set and that specific card enough, both to where I can leverage being above the normal non-jersey number sales, as well as at the very worst, having a cool collecting piece. Yeah, and I think that's awesome card, obviously. But with Juan Soto, and you were kind of mentioning this before with when you were talking about autographs, like guys can always sign more autographs. And I think Juan Soto is a great example right now of a guy who is signing a ton of autographs for tops. But finding these kind of lanes where it's like, oh, this is why this card is especially cool. And like he might sign real one autographs for the next 18 years or whatever of his career, but they'll only ever be one jersey number real one autograph a year and that adds a certain level to it that um i think is important when you're considering buying or spending that sort of money on a card for sure but what was the other one you bought i will say that when i'm buying something i guess both for myself and i guess from flipping i definitely i'm not the type of consumer to where i want to pay double or more for a jersey number but there are definitely people that are But I do recognize the coolness in paying, you know, the 100% full comp value or maybe within the 10 to 20% just to get the jersey number. I think it like adds a layer of uniqueness that I respect in collecting in that. And I think maybe in that specific one, Soto, I paid 300. The sales were like 180, 220. So I paid a little bit of a market for it. If I sell it, I'm going to charge even more because there's only one of them. But at the very minimum, like even in owning that piece, I recognize that it's, I, I understand, like, I, I, not to say I understand it, but like the collectability of, I see the collectability in that jersey number and I yield enjoyment from that card. Yeah. Um, it's, it's one of the few things in the hobby that just like kind of makes sense. It makes sense that those cards have a higher demand. But what was yeah, that? Some people bought? will fight to the nail saying that, oh, jersey numbers suck. They're a fake pump. You're a loser and it's a fad. And it's like, well, if I'm paying like a few extra quarters on it, if I'm paying an extra, you know, certain percentage points and like, I'll take it. It makes it like collecting is just a battle of clout and saying my collection is cooler than yours. And also I, that I have the coolest collection in the world. And that's how we get an edge over each other as human beings, as real human beings, after all. 
The second jersey number card I bought was of Vinicius Jr. for Real Madrid. It is his 2018 Donruss rated rookie, I want to say like gray press proof die cut out of 100. And this is a little bit controversial in part because his jersey number changes during like the youth, you know, because he they had like the under 18 levels and then he has the Brazilian national team and then he's on Real Madrid. But of course, you have the Real Madrid juniors as well. But like when he first got into the Real Madrid main team, I want to say his rookie jersey number was 18. But at every opportunity, he wore number 20 as soon as he could. And he's worn number 20 for the past three years. But there is an argument as long, I guess, jersey number collectors of if the jersey number is like any jersey number that they've worn or only specific to the year of the card. And so if they were looking at the jersey number, what he wore when this card was made, it would have been 18. But I bought copy 20 out of 99 or 20 out of 100, whatever it is. And it is his current jersey number. Everyone who's buying and wearing Vinny jerseys are having a 20 on the back. And that's where you get some semantics. One of my favorite examples of this is Jalen Hurts, who, whose current jersey number is one, but on his rookie year wore the jersey number two. So really, I've seen some arguments depending on which shady teenager Instagram reseller is you see on your story of you know a copy, an out of five Jalen Hurts card being one out of five and then the same jersey number because that's the current jersey number and then them claiming two out of five is also a jersey number because he was wearing that then and part of like the uniqueness of it is like how often is the jersey number going to come up i don't give anthony edwards much of a jersey number premium for one of ones when his jersey number is one but in mike trout parallels where he's number 27 and of course you're only seeing that on serial number cards that are 27 or higher or effectively 50 or higher that's where i think it's way more important for sure uh you one of the main uh guys for that concept is kobe like kobe switching from 8 to 24 like i see a lot of people counting both of those as jersey numbers also like i think i've seen a lebron card that's numbered 6 out of 23 and someone was like double jersey number i'm charging 400 percent cops (laughs) like that sort of thing i think is always funny but yeah, jersey numbers, I like them. I don't, I think I paid more of a premium just because this is already a cool card that I wanted. So, you know, balance that out with jersey number stuff. Like, don't buy, don't pay a hundred bucks for a card just because it's jersey numbered, even if the card is not really that cool. Like, if it's like a Panini, you know, Father's Day random, you know, card, don't pay a massive premium just because that's jersey numbered but you know if it is a cool iconic card already or like a cool card that you really want um i think it's worth paying the premium did you but have the, any uh, did you have something you want to say oh, yeah no the sticking point with jalen hurts so is that like four and out of five like 40 percent of the print run is jersey number so it like ironically makes it like not unique at all and it really just depends on which side of the coin you're playing if you own serial number one of five or serial number two at five <laughs> yeah exactly uh do you have any other buys